I say, how do you do to a fine young zebra by the name of Sue? The waiter. Oh, that was a lovely meal. Thank you, dear. Oh, yes. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> My pleasure. Wasn't the waiter brilliant? Would Sir prefer the spinach or the broccoli? <laughs> 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 oh. When I grow up, I'm going to be a waiter. The soup of the day is cream of tomato, madam. <gasps> is that Uncle Xavier's car? Oh, if it is, he's been here a while, judging by the snow. Oh, oh, glad to be home. So, we'll see you later then. We're looking forward to it. Looking forward to what? Ah, young zoo. We'd like more people to know about our shop, so we've invited lots of important people to a little party. And me. I'm coming too. I'm very important. Hmm. Yes, it is going to be rather special. There's going to be little snacks and drinks and... and... Oh, do they need a waiter? I could be a waiter. Would Madame care for another sandwich? <laughs> oh, yes. I want to be a waiter too. Can we, Daddy? Can we? <laughs> Well, it'll be a lot of hard work and... But it'll be fun, too. Oh, please, Daddy. Pretty please. Of course you can, my precious. I'm going to be a waiter. I'm going to be a waiter. Will Sir be wanting coffee? <laughs> <gasps> I'll get it. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Zee. Want to come and play in the snow? No, I'm not playing today. I'm going to work. Huh? I'm going to be a waiter at Uncle Xavier's shop. You can come too if you like. <gasps> yes, please. Well, time we were getting on. The party starts soon. <laughs> oh. Where's the car? I thought I left it here. <laughs> Here it is, Uncle Xavier. What? Oh, no. It'll take ages to dig it out from all that snow. <laughs> Whoops, here. Let me give you a hand, Xavier. Thanks. I... <laughs> oh, dear. Look at me. <gasps> You're all wet and snowy, Daddy. And I'm cold and... How am I ever going to get back to the shop in all this snow? Um, tennis rackets. Zoo, it is the middle of winter. This is no time to be playing tennis. No, we're not going to play tennis. We've got some old tennis rackets in the garage. We can tie them to our feet and use them as snowshoes. Great idea. I'm going to get some snowshoes too. Come on, Dad. <laughs> This is a good idea of yours, Zoo. There aren't enough tennis rackets to go around, so someone can travel on the sledge as well. Oh. <laughs> we'll soon be back at your shop, Xavier. Yes, good. Thank you. Oh. Xavier, the guests will be arriving soon. This is no time for playing in the snow. I haven't been playing. I've been falling over. The car's stuck in the snow and I'm cold and wet. Well, we'd better get you inside then. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, 
I'm not sure we'd ever need one of these at home. No. Careful when you pass these round. We will. Waiters are always careful and calm and well behaved. Waiters? What waiters? Them. The children. Zinnia did so want to help out. But they'll be fine. Now, before the guests arrive, I really should find something dry to change into. Now, when the guests arrive, we have to go round with these trays of snacks. What about the drinks, Sue? Um, well. Maybe we should do them first. Hmm. Would you care for a drink, madame? Sir? Oh, thank you, Bizu. Hmm. I mean, uh, thank you, waiter. Nice work, Sue. You have a go now, Elsie, with the snacks. Oh, I love these. Oh. My favourite. <laughs> hey, Zinnia, we're waiters. The snacks aren't for us. Mm. Ew. Oh, no! <gasps> no! <gasps> oh, look what you made me do. <sighs> no harm done. They're all fine. Look, my turn to do waitering. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Oh no, look out! <laughs> Phew! That was wrong! Oh. Caught it! Oh! Oh! Um, what's all this mess? Zoo, what's happened? And what are you doing on the floor? Zinnia, your dress! It's covered in... Elsie, what are you doing with that? It's extremely expensive. Sorry. We, um, we had a bit of an accident. Oh, Zoo. <laughs> I can see that all over the shop. And our important guests will be here any moment. I should never have agreed to you waitering for us. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking of. It wasn't, Sue. It was all my fault. I was helping myself to some volivon, and I tripped and knocked them over. And then I bumped into that thing, and the thing on top fell off, and Sue caught it, but... <sighs> well, perhaps I was a little hasty. Sorry, Zoo. <laughs> there, there, Zinnia. It's all right now. It will be, Daddy, once we've tidied up. <laughs> <gasps> Hello? How unfortunate. Thanks ever so much for letting us know. That was the mayor. He can't come. He's snowed in. Hmm. Hello? Oh, I see. <gasps> oh, so sorry to hear that. Another time. Lord Zachary, he can't get out of his mansion. The snow. Hmm. Oh, I see. Another time. Well, that's the last of the guests. No one can come. Oh, I was looking forward to being a waiter. So what are we going to do with all this food? Um, I think I know some people who might be able to come. Hello? 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 What's that? I think it's a vase, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for a cucumber sandwich, sir? 
<laughs> Mr Zoe to you, Zoo. <laughs> Not while I'm the waiter. Oh, thank you. Madam, may I interest you? Oh, yes, you may. <clears throat> Nana, please we don't usually kiss the waiter. Not even if he's the best waiter in the world. <laughs> <laughs> The Zebrick Games. Giant slalom sledging, ice hockey. It was all fabulous. Zinnia loved it, didn't you, darling? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was super special, brilliantly brilliant. One always remembers one's first Olympic Games. What did you like best, Zinnia? The ice skating. Except that the winner's costume was really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, can we go and watch the Olympic Games too? I'd like to, Sue, but the next Winter Olympics are four years away. Four years? That's ages. What if we had some Winter Games? We could have our own games. We could even give medals to the winners. <gasps> oh, oh, yes! yes. We could call them the Zebra Games. Do you know, Zoo, that might be a good idea. Yes. We just need to get a few things ready. Oh, uh, sorry, but we're going to have to go. Uh, bags to unpack and... Uh... But, Daddy, I want to stay here for the Zebrick Games. Don't worry, Zinnia. We won't be ready before tomorrow. It's OK, Zinnia. We won't start without you. You better hadn't. <laughs> See you tomorrow. How real skiers do it, and I should know, I've seen them at the Olympic Games. <laughs> Hello, one and all, and welcome to the first ever Zebrick Games. Hmm. We've got four events for you, starting with the slalom. What's a slalom? <laughs> See the flower pots over there, Zach? You have to ski through the gates. That means between the pairs of pots. <laughs> like this? You've got it, Zoo. And the one to ski the fastest around the house wins. <laughs> <laughs> right. On Pock signal. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Yay! Go, children! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. In and out of the pots. Oh, oh, excuse me. Coming through. Hang on. I've lost a ski. You can't pick it up. <sighs> Come on, Zach. Keep going. <laughs> First one over the finishing line wins! He's not supposed to run! It's against the rules! But he's lost his skis, Zinnia. How else is he going to get round? Go, Zinnia, go! <laughs> and the winner of the slalom is... Zinnia! Yes! Hooray for me! What's next? Now, time for the best snow zebra event. Yeah! yeah. May the best zebra win! Hurry up, children. The clock is ticking. Uh, ten seconds left. <gasps> they all look pretty much the same. 
What can I do to make mine different? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, zero! Oh. Hmm. Hmm. The winner is Zoo! Yes! Best snow zebra maker in town! <laughs> <laughs> what do we do next? The third event is Zebric Hockey. Yes! yes! <laughs> All right. Has everyone got their Zebric Hockey brooms? Yes! yes! <laughs> Good. So these are the rules. Using your hockey broom, you have to score as many goals as you can. Here's the ball. And the person with the most goals is the winner. All right? Whee! <laughs> Grandpa, when do we start? Hmm. Now! Whoa, there's a lot of balls. <laughs> it's ten times better than with just one. <laughs> hey! Elsie, two! No, three! Zach, one! Sue, one! Zinnia, zero! Ooh, one! Uh, <laughs> 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 Elsie, six! Zoo, um, two! Up uh, three! Four! Zinnia! I got three! Zoo, eight! Zinnia, four! Zack, one! Yay! Ten! And eleven for Elsie! Game over! Eleven! I won! Eleven goals! You're really fast, Elsie! It looked as if there were two or three of you! <sighs> I'm the only one who hasn't won anything! Don't worry, Zack. There's still one more game left. So, are you little champions ready to go to the park? Yay! <laughs> And now for the final event, the Slipper Long Jump. The Slipper Long Jump? What's that? Oh, it's very simple. What you have to do is slide your slipper down the slide so it jumps and lands as far away as possible. Hmm. Yes, and whoever slipper jumps furthest wins. Sounds fun. Who goes first? Me, 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 me first! <laughs> Whoa. Well done, Zinnia! <laughs> Beat that! Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit short for a long jump. Let's see you do better. Looks about the same as mine. <laughs> yeah, suppose so. My slipper wins! No, mine did! I'd say it's a tie. No, I think Zack won. Uh, I've got something to help us decide. Uh, but, oh, don't move your slippers. Uh, 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 the winner is Zack! Yay! <laughs> well done, Zack. See, I knew you'd win an event. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I think it's time we were all heading home. Oh, but I don't want to go home. Why do we have to go now? Can't we stay just a little bit longer? Well, if you don't want to come and get your medals... <gasps> medals? Back at your house? Let's go home. Yes! I want my medal! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Have we all won? 
Yes, you have. Today, you are all winners. Yes, but I'd say Zoo's a bit more of a winner than us. Why is that, Elsie? Because you invented the separate games. It's thanks to me, too. If I hadn't told you about my holiday, Sue would never have had the idea. You're right, Zinnia, but I agree with Grandpa. Today, we're all winners. <laughs> 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 Zoo and Z-Boy, the cuddly toy. Hello, Mr. Zoe. Oh, hello there, Zoo. What can I do for you? Can we have some seeds for Pock, please? Aha! I've got just what you need. Some new extra crunchy bird seeds. This way, Pock. <laughs> I didn't know Pock was so keen on shopping. Hmm. Hello, Zack. Hello. Is something wrong? I've lost Z-Boy, my cuddly toy. Ooh. I took him with me to do some deliveries with my dad and, and uh, I lost him. Where did you last see him? I can't remember. We went all over the place. And now dad's working so we can't go and look for him till later. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe Grandpa and I can help you find him. Oh, good idea, Zoo. Of course we can. <laughs> you like those seeds, don't you, Pock? Careful you don't gobble them all up before you get home. So, have you ever lost one of your toys? Yes. Oh, so you've heard about Z-Boy. Yes, and we're going to help Zack look for him. Thank you, that's very kind. I think we might have lost him near the school, or maybe in the park. We did stop there for a short while. We're going to look everywhere. And don't worry, I'm great at finding things. I always find Nana's glasses when she loses them. Cheer up, Zack. I'm sure that with Zoo's help, you'll find Z-Boy in no time. Yes, Dad. We'll find Z-Boy in no time. I hope so. Hmm. <laughs> so, what does Z-Boy look like? He's a zebra, and he's got a nice face and, uh, and, and a red T-shirt. A red T-shirt? That should be easy to spot. So, let's get going. To the rescue! Hooray! OK, you two. Let's start at the school first, and then we'll look at the park. I'm Zinnia, and this is Sylvia. She's a ballerina. And what's your name? <gasps> Zinnia, darling. Huh? Time to go now. Mummy has a lot to do in the shop. Look, Sylvia. He can dance almost as beautifully as you. Zinnia, <gasps> I'm waiting. Coming, Mummy. And you're coming too. You and Sylvia are going to be the best of friends. Mrs. Solly? Oh, hello there, Zoo. Zack. <laughs> oh, uh, Mrs. Solly, have you seen him? Have I seen who? Zack's lost Z Boy. He's got a red t shirt uh, and he's all stripy. And... He's Zack's favourite cuddly toy. Oh, I see. So, have you seen him? Oh, dear, no. I'm sorry, Zack. Oh. Thanks anyway, Mrs. Zolly. Come on, Zack. Maybe they need something to jog their memories. What like? Um... We need a picture of Z-Boy. And then we can photocopy it and put it in the shops. That way, people will recognise him. Oh, good idea, Zoo. And I think I know just the person to help us. Let's go and see Elsie's mum. Yes! <sighs> Oh, 
hello. This is a nice surprise. Elsie! Hello, Zoo. Zack, have you come to play? Um, no. We're here to see your mum. Me? Yes. You see, Zack's favourite toy's missing. Oh, dear. And we were wondering if you could draw his picture. Then we can photocopy it and make some posters. Of course I'll help. Come on in. Now, what did your toy look like, Zack? He's a zebra, he's got a nice face and he's wearing a red T-shirt. Up in your shop, please. It's about something Zack lost. Oh, of course, Sue. But please be careful not to break anything. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Are you all right, darling? I I feel a bit hot. I'll go out and get some fresh air. Hmm. Yes, Pog. She did act a bit strange. Hang on, I'll see what's going on. Zinnia! Uh, Zinnia, are you sure you haven't seen Zack's toy? <clears throat> have another look. You might have seen him and forgotten about it. No, no, I never saw that toy in the park. If I had... I... In the park? Uh, I was just saying, he could be in the park or somewhere else. I <clears throat> guess... Maybe I saw something that looked a bit like... Uh, what was his name again? Z-Boy. He's wearing a red T-shirt. Uh, red. Yes, maybe. Zinnia, it's Zack's cuddly toy. Since he's lost him, he's been really upset. Hmm. Zack's cuddly toy? He's mine! I found him! So you have seen him? Uh, yes. He was lost in the park and I couldn't leave him there all on his own. I didn't know he belonged to anyone. Of course not. You couldn't know. He's a really good dancer. Before he came along, Sylvia was really bored having to dance by herself. But Zack misses his toy. He's really sad. Zinnia, if you lost Sylvia, how would you feel? Lost Sylvia? You're right, Sue. I should have tried to find out who he belonged to. But how am I going to explain that to Zach? Just tell him what's happened. I'm sure he'll understand. You're right. After all, I didn't do anything wrong. I just found him. I suppose I'd better go and tell Zach everything. <laughs> Zach, I think I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you're looking for? <gasps> Z-Boy! Oh, lovely! <laughs> <laughs> it's Z-Boy! Uh, except... Oh. I lent it to him. He had to have something proper to dance with Sylvia in. Hmm. I'm sorry, Zack. I found Z-Boy in the park and I didn't know he was yours or I would have told you. Park? So that's where I lost him. Yes, I found Sea Boy in a bush. I just wanted to look after him. He looked all lost. Oh, thanks, Zinnia. You saved him. I don't know how to thank you, Sylvia. 
Well, maybe Sylvia could play with Z-Boy sometimes. He's oh. a really good dancer, and she says she'd like to practice her ballet with him. Um, well, um, all right then, Zinnia. Yes! <laughs> and I think Zoo needs thanking too. After all, if it hadn't been for his idea of the posters... We all helped to find him, Grandpa. Would you like to do some dancing too, Zoo? Uh, no thanks, Zinnia. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia and Z-Boy seem to be doing very well by themselves. Yes! Z-Boy is the best. <laughs> <laughs>